Hey guys, today I'll be trying an acrylic pour for the first time using Liquitex pouring medium as well as Monmarte silicone oil. I will be using this paint that I got in a value set, which I don't want to use in my paintings or on my clothes. Rather than let it sit unused and wasted, I felt that I should just use it up and experiment with it for my acrylic pour. Here I used up the entire tube of white paint, which is 12 grams. I wanted to do a 1 to 4 ratio with the pouring medium, but I clearly over poured and it's now 3 grams over the ratio that I wanted. And later on, I changed my mind and I made the rest of the paints 1 to 3 ratio. So Clearly, I'm very inconsistent. Here I'm adding two drops of the Monmarte silicone oil that you saw earlier. And here I'm wrestling with this tube of dried up purple paint. Remember how I said that this paint was came in a value set and value sets are not known for the highest of qualities? Well, this purple paint was just opened not too long ago, but it's already dried up. So I figured rather than let the same fate befall the rest of my paints, I should just use them up in this acrylic pour. Here I'm using the blue paint, again squeezing out the entire tube of paint and then making sure that uh, I add in a 1 to 3 ratio of the pouring medium. So here I could, you can see that I made the scale a 0 before I added the pouring medium so I can just accurately measure the ratio that I want. And again, I went over the ratio. I know that 1 to 3 ratio is 36 grams, not 37 grams, but I do not have the steadiest of hands when pouring. Ugh. Anyways, moving on, I'm gonna mix up this paint right here and then set it aside. And I'll move on to squeezing out another tube of paint and again see, repeating the same steps. Let's see if I can get it right this time. Alright, again, making sure that the scale is at zero before I pour in the medium. Alright, wait for it. Yes, I got it to 36 grams. After I was done celebrating, I gave the, blue, the light blue paint a good mix around. I sped this up, I didn't mix as fast as I'm showing here. And then I added a drop of silicone oil to each paint and then I gave it a light stir. Again, not over stirring. And here I am squeezing out the tube of yellow paint and I managed to get it to 36 grams and gave it a good mix. So all these three paints I have a 1 to 3 ratio except for the white paint. You saw that earlier. So now I can go for my first attempt using an 8 by 8 inch canvas. And see I have a baking tray lined with aluminum foil so I don't make a mess of my entire work surface. I didn't actually do much research before attempting this acrylic pour because my philosophy in life is basically anything worth doing is worth doing badly. Because then I at least get things done. And to me, done is better than perfect. I figured I'll just learn from the consequences of my choices. The choice being not to do much research before attempting an acrylic pour. Anyways, here after I poured out the paint on the canvas, I got out the heat gun because based on my very limited research, I know that you need heat to pop the bubbles in the acrylic paint. But and to do that, you either need a blowtorch, a heat gun, or a hairdryer. I do not have a blowtorch. And I didn't want to use my hairdryer for this in case it got paint splattered all over it. So I got a heat gun which is a new purchase and I was rather trigger happy about using it.
Yeah, this is clearly my fault for using poor quality paints as well as having the heat gun linger for too long on one spot of the canvas. So don't do what I did. Yeah, that it was pretty much unsalvageable, but I tried. You can see me trying to salvage it later. So I have no words. I There's nothing I can say about this. It's, it's just so terrible. Anyways, back to the music. Now take a good long look. This is what failure looks like. The consequences of my choices. Oh well, moving on.
you can see, my second acrylic pour didn't end in complete disaster. I'm quite happy with it. I really like how the cells form and the way it turned out is really interesting. I actually liked the first one except for the parts that were destroyed by the heat gun. And anyways, if you liked watching this video, do check out my other stuff. I do other crafty things like painting on clothes and I produce one video a week. So please like, comment, share, subscribe for more content. Do check out my Instagram at Studio Sherling for the latest updates and I will see you next week. Thanks for watching. Bye!